Live from a little corner of Austin, which is nowhere near Broadway. Broadway. The Great White Way, where we face the board. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, it's going to be a great night. Now, put away your Umami Bin Laden cosplay and get either super crusty, salty, or crispy because here are your hosts. Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young! Oh, I can't you did it! You did it! You did it, Justin! Oh, I didn't think you had what it took, but you did! It was in you the whole time! People say, uh, you know, uh, one of these days I'm going to save up the money and I'm going to go over to the other side of the world and I'm going to get the procedure. And I'm always like, you're not going to get the procedure. And then uh, they're like, no, I dare you. Tell me. And uh, it's like the only people I know who got the procedure are Doug Flutie and Big Hurt. And now, (laughs) fresh off of a test offend bender. (laughs) (laughs) Justin Robert Young. First, the money never changed me. (laughs) I actually had to, uh, uh, and for audio listeners, I'm wearing a bunch of dumb shit I bought in Europe. Uh, uh, (laughs) Including Belloc's hat. I do. I bought bought fucking Belloc's hat in Munich. Um, So, uh, uh, I actually had to describe at some point to Will Harris of all people uh, the 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 Hey Big Hurt commercial. No way! <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, it's like, like and he has no context for anything. I'm like, okay, so Frank Thomas was a baseball player, <laughs> and his nickname was the Big Hurt, and so for whatever reason, he's become the mascot of virility, <laughs> and so all these beta cucks come like <laughs> skittering around him, saying like, "Wow, Frank Justin, Thomas looks Justin, really jacked." Justin, I love you. Why does the man come in with the confused, tangled web of garden hose, though? <laughs> That's, yeah, it's like, like uh, uh, sorry, like, uh, uh, I'm not enough of a man. My hose doesn't work. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm spraying on my own face. Justin, <laughs> his girlfriend, though, is like super hot. <laughs> For Frank Thomas. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. But uh, but 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 uh, 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 why is Doug Flutie there? <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Because <laughs> little guys have big dicks too. I guess. Like that's that's the that's the lesson. <laughs> you know now that one's true. Now that one's true. true. It was true. That, yeah, that true. is without a doubt my right. favorite. He's, he's, he's got. Oh, you want to know what? I think it's because he's famous for throwing the ball really Real long. Real far, long. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Once. 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 That's all you need. That's right. That's all you need. Everyone remembers it. <sighs> that's my that favorite. You did it once. That's my favorite golden book is the guy who threw far once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you can do it, too, <laughs> in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry, she'll like it too. See, and then she's always just like, "That's right." Oh, oh suck that! <laughs> you suck that! What? 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 That I was very. I low. was. What? It's I was low in the mix. It's I, low in the mix. <laughs> but if you, I if was you really, very surprised when I heard it. <laughs> when you when you break it out in audition, you can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> On Song Exploder, they really yeah, nailed on down. Song it Exploder, and they're like, like, I'll suck that, and then <laughs> cut right there. Back to your regularly scheduled programming on ESPN2. <laughs> case your way. And <laughs> no, I feel like, excuse yourself, me, I have to go it. accept an award at a, a, a set that looks exactly like the one we're standing on. <laughs> I, love, I love It's always like, 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 and to present the award for being a real man, uh, here's Frank Thomas. <laughs> oh. and, then, and then there's like a shriveled beta, just like, like yeah. I wish I could be the man that Frank Thomas is. He seems old, and yet he's still the alpha. And then the production assistant walks up and says, I suck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We back- They're very tired. And we very continue tired. with our coverage of the America's Cup as Sweden now. <laughs> is Sweden the in last- the America's Cup? That, 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 that's the last thing you hear. It's just like, I'll suck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really worse. 
it's really weird during like breaking news events. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. That one, uh, that, uh, that one time, <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you thinking of something offensive? I don't know. Because <laughs> I was gonna do a, a joke breaking news thing that Nancy Pelosi's plane got shut down. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Like, shut down with jizz? Yet. Shut down with jizz, not maybe? Yet. Not shut yet. Wait, has that's it a, happened? Yeah, oh. it hasn't happened. No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Breaking news didn't I, happen. I was just going to... Wait, were you guys reacting like it did? <laughs> yes. When you said it happened? Yes, we did. You're the, you're the, you're the news, man. <laughs> you're the news, man. That's how you're the news, man. Bum, 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 Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> that's a that's a theatrical bail. <laughs> Five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Uh Bryce was our first topic. Euro report. Wait, didn't I give you things for each of these? Yeah. Well, do you wanna uh, do I wanna broadly set up? I went to Europe. I got a lot of stories. Europe? Uh wait here. Th this is something that, that is real. I feel like we <laughs> unlike Europe for reporting, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we finally have something real. <laughs> I think I went the longest in like time that I did not text or talk to you or see you uh -huh. in person. Cause like we went like like over a week without any kind of like 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 text communication really at all yeah almost 2 weeks almost 2 weeks i almost want to say 14 days 7 hours 32 <laughs> seconds <laughs> not that i was counting now the <laughs> problem was is that i kept finding these things that i would normally immediately talk to you about yeah. but i'm like i got to save them for literally this moment. Yeah. For the A block of Great Night, where I know at least I would have your reaction recorded on camera. And of course, you memorized all of them and can recite <laughs> them because they were so important that you give them to me straight from the Big Hurt's mouth. <laughs> I'll suck that. <laughs> uh, uh, Bryce, do we have uh, topics for, for the... Yeah. Here we go. Gifts. Yeah. Gifts. Not to be confused with gifs. <laughs> what is happening? I would like to give you a gift, Brian. Oh. Yeah, I would like oh. to receive a gift. That's so nice. Uh, so this. Will it help me with my tangled hose? Uh, uh, right here is the Ample Man. Mm. It was the East German that sign. That dude's got a big ass dick. <laughs> he, he does, man. And it's curved. That's Wait, not that's not which his is hand. not which is not healthy. That is not his hand. Uh, so uh, uh, this was the East German uh, walking and not walking sign, and you can see both of them oh. on, on on the other side. But Why is the became, not walking Christ on the cross? It is Christ-like, but they were communists, so it was open. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, it became so beloved in Germany that even when the Berlin Wall fell, they now have all of their walk don't walk. Uh, signs with the ample man and so you now own a legitimate piece of the berlin wall oh, with the ample what? man on it oh, uh, wow. that i bought at a fucking tchotchke store <laughs> because the commies got to hold that l forever oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forever so wow. wow i would, I would <laughs> applaud but my hands are full <laughs> so there we go Berlin what do Wall. You think? Berlin Wall. Why? Why they draw? Why they draw the big dick man on the wall? Because that is the East German symbol. And also, I bought at the Ample Man store, and they were selling pieces of the Berlin Wall. So that's why. But uh, uh, I thought it was a really cool thing because that that is an East German symbol, and then the greatest sign of East German failure. I, that you buy for fifteen dollars at a Chachki store. Yes. If, uh, after West Germany. Prove victorious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, Hold I, that I, fucking I, L, commies. Hey, hey, Bryce. Hi. Hey, Bryce. I'm so excited at what he got us. Yeah. I'm I, so looking forward to the things that he got us. Well, I, oh, and actually, he's pulled out a couple. What is that? Exactly. Which brings me to my next gift. Ooh. Multiple gifts, multi plural. Oh, this is not going the direction I thought I was going to go. <laughs> a big, hard, red dick magnet. Oh. <laughs> 
That's got to be for me. That says Amsterdam on it. <laughs> With the three X's. With, yeah. Yeah. With it's that, got that, balls. That, that is the Amsterdam city Sit. flag. Yes, it is. The Amsterdam what? city flag has the three X's on it. Uh, uh, did they fail to get invaded three times? No. <laughs> did they fail to no, go to they, space they, three times? They failed to guess the right answer on Family Feud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, ironically, uh, if they had just said a big red dick, they probably would have gotten on the board. <laughs> yeah. You that think this is a bridge too far? You think this is Clifford's? No. That dick is way too small to be Clifford's dick. I mean, but a small Clifford. Well, like, but that's like, just a, a, a small a, dog. A, a, <laughs> You're just a, describing a, a normal size dog. A, a, a refrigerator magnet. Per the canon of Clifford, love makes little things grow. That is an unloved dick if it is a Clifford dick. Wow. And wow. so, Brett, here is your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Please I come thought. here. Here, okay, I'll thanks. Uh, uh, put it right there. there you go. Bryce. Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> you get this. Weed with a sparkly <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> that actually really rolls. Thank you very much. That's awesome. There we go. <laughs> these are these are the most thoughtful gifts. This there we so go. Sweet. There we go. So gifts, gifts for the boy. I oh. absolutely love oh. above everything else that he got gifts for every single person who mattered in this organization. We love you, Justin! <laughs> Price next topic. <laughs> oh, it's the Manchester the ladies. The Manchester ladies. Hi, the wait. Manchester ladies. What up? First night. First night. All right. We are staying. Prima this, Nocta. This is we we're Prima staying Nocta. at the hotel the in King. the West End. Yes. And uh, uh, we're trying to stay up late because we have the jet lag, right? So you got to stay up as late as you can so you don't wake up and blah blah blah. Uh, we're at the hotel bar, and we're talking to the bartender. And the bartender. Quick question. Go ahead. Do, do they on purpose keep the hotel bar like open twenty four hours, like as an accommodation to international? Travelers, no, but or? it is open later than a lot of hotel bars. It was open until like like eleven like thirty 10 or midnight, PM. like uh, because they have people that come in from these West End shows. They'll they'll drive in from other places in England. They'll go see the show. If it's a later show, they still want to be able to give them one round when they come back, and so they keep it open oh, a little later. Fantastic. And so we're talking to this bartender. We're like, "Hey, I bet you you see some shit down here. Like, give me some good stories." And he's, he's you like, do realize this sounds like the setup for a Better Call Saul bit, where it's like, <laughs> "I bet you you've seen some shit. Come on, I bet I bet you've come seen some on. shit." So he's like. The most unruly customers we get are these women from the middle and north of England who this is their big night out and they drive down to London. They see the Tina Turner musical. They see the uh, 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 whatever other like jukebox like kind of musical and they come in here and they get fucking wasted these ladies get shit faced and they start fucking falling over each other it, it gets fucking ugly fast and so as soon as he says that all of a sudden we hear the accents the manchester accents mm -hmm. start walking in but, but, but before you divulge the accent i i will confess that i don't know what the accent is uh brett can you can you can guess? you can you do it all I can remember is uh, from Frazier, the, uh, the 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 physical therapist. She's from Manchester, but I am not. No, but that's not. That's not, that's not, that's not it. Manchester. It's not. It's, it's, no, it, no, that's it's, like New England Manchester. No, 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 no. I know. I'm I'm wrong. I I didn't. I so far he's in first place. Uh, 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 Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. Uh, Oi, I'm from Manchester, and this is my regional accent. Yes, <laughs> Sean Connery. That's right, I'm from Manchester, and I'm the man from Chester. They call me Sean Chester, and I'm from... <laughs> Closer, right? West Chester. Keep going. Stretch, <laughs> <laughs> stretch. What? Manchester. I'm smelling spinoff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what are you, Brian? You try the Manchester. Yeah, try that Chester accent. Yeah, that's what oh, the Manchester are you kidding me? Hello, Gunda. <laughs> All 
Sonic sucking out of scrolls. He fucking nailed it. Is that it? Is that it? Wow. All right. Can I add on to that? Oh, now that he did it. No. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, look at Johnny about. come lately. When when I was in Amsterdam five yeah. years ago, uh -huh. uh, uh, one of the questions that we had at a restaurant that we went to was, who are your ruliest, unruliest customers? And I think to remember them saying that it was Women from Manchester. Well, women now from all Manchester. of a sudden, I love that question of who are your ruliest? <laughs> who are the ruliest? <laughs> Who's the who most subject to colonialism? Behaved? That would be the uh, that would be the ones from Vermont. Oh. That's what it would be. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're we're, 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 talk, we're, 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 we're talking to him. It, it, it is it is an older mom and then her two adult daughters, and they went out to see the Tina Turner musical. And now they were coming back. Oh. Uh, and they were nice. They were not shitty. They weren't like like getting super slosh, but they were having a few. I told them we don't need another hero. We don't need another hero. It's a Thunderdome. The Thunderdome. Two men into one man leaves. No, I'm singing an actual song that she sang from Beyond Thunderdome. It doesn't I, matter. Yeah, he was also making a Dun Thunderdome reference. Yeah. <laughs> Thunder th Thunderdome rules. Hey, glad I could. Uh, glad I could help there. All Thanks. right. All right. <laughs> so we're talking, and uh, <laughs> next thing you know. We get into, for whatever reason, because they're asking about American shit, they're asking about Trump, and they're asking about abortion and stuff and everything, and then all of a sudden, uh, uh, the queen comes up. And this is some and what shit. what did she say? This is, this, is, oh. this is some shit that I am not uh, used to being an American. Our for real, for real monarchists. People for whom have grown up their entire life, sure. like the mom did, with that with, with, with Queen Elizabeth in, in her life, and she, she is very defensive of... The, the her queen like yeah. and so i'm joking i'm doing like my little spiel about the 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 fucking the crown yep. and i'm like i'm like oh i love the i think it's the greatest framing device for a historical series ever she's been around been in the rooms for all these different things but also most of the episodes are about her wanting to fold the fucking napkins twice and they're like no mom we cannot we since king george has always been folded thrice wise and then at the end she bravely says i will fold it thrice wise <laughs> and it's at that moment that this lady is like oh no she wouldn't do that <laughs> I, I i i think she sees that and she just doesn't care and i'm like what the the show she's like oh yeah no she doesn't she doesn't care and i'm like well, i mean like you know part of the job i'm sure like there, there's an element of good humor i'm not even trying to bag on the queen she's like no 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 she's had to deal with so much so much in her life so much blah 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 and it's like like becoming this thing where we're coming to the end of the night and uh ashley gives me the signal that it's time to wrap it up <laughs> and i'm like uh and this is this is hold on I'm trying to do the blood <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and uh <laughs> In that moment, I'm like, well, I think we can all agree on one thing. Oh, no. <laughs> and she definitely had Epstein killed. <laughs> <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> Don't worry, we have Brian on camera the entire time. <laughs> if he figures this out, we know exactly where he is. No, uh, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to gauge how brilliant or stupid it that was. <laughs> I think it was brilliant. I think it was brilliant, uh, assuming your 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 shoes were laced. Immediately, she says, like a absolute hit on the knee reaction. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Right next to me. Right next to me. Amsterdam sidewalk. All right, in Amsterdam for TwitchCon, uh, uh, Ashley actually has to work. I do not, so I decide to just go out after she has to go to sleep so she can get uh, back up for work. So, so you decide to do all the things that Amsterdam is famous for, like visit the dikes. They got dikes. 
they're kind of famous for their dikes. Really? Yep. Huh. What else is famous in Amsterdam? <laughs> what? Shitty weed? I did that. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. Okay. Just dikes. <laughs> I was trying to help. I didn't see the dikes. Oh. Did you see any shitty weed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hear about that then. Well, I'm mean, telling another story if you want me to talk about the weed. <laughs> Let's just oh, no, no, no. I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you not aware that I was in the middle of telling a story and you just raised both your hands in the air and yelled the dikes? <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you were seeing all the things that Amsterdam was famous for. So I started. no, you said that. I was thinking that. <laughs> I said I was going out after Ashley I went to have sleep. Dyke head. <laughs> it's a disease. They have a pill for that. So I'm walking around, and I remember in my head. Uh, something that people were telling me in London that a lot of people kind of treat Amsterdam like Las Vegas. And uh, uh, you have lived in Austin. You have seen Sixth Street. Everybody here, I'm yeah. sure, has yeah. seen Sixth Street on a Friday or Saturday night. So I'm like, all right. I've been down on the Strip in Vegas. I've seen the portal of hell that opens up there. I've seen Sixth Street. I've seen uh, uh, the kind of sloppy bullshit that happens down there. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like uh, there's no way. This uh, a beautiful, well-mannered city can get up to the shit show level that these American monstrosities get to. And so I find something that I have never in Austin or in Las Vegas seen before. Hold, let me let me write down something. Okay. Hold write down, minute. write, write down your guesses. Sure. Write down your guesses. Okay. Okay, go ahead. So I'm walking by and I see what looks to be puke on the street. Oh, yeah. I, fuck it. Child's play. Yeah. Right? I'm like, well, I guess somebody got too drunk at this bar and they puked on the street. Yeah. Happens all the time. All the time. That's where I look goes. up and I see a young man for whom I'm assuming issued that puke sitting in a chair in the. Well, <laughs> Don't throw it. Oh. Uh, uh, sitting in a chair in the center of the fucking sidewalk, which I had never seen before. I had never seen somebody gets too drunk at a bar and they're like, sit in the middle of the sidewalk and just vomit on the sidewalk. Uh, but this man was sitting there. So at that point, I see a bucket next to him <laughs> on the opposite side of the first puke for the record. Sure. And this bucket is sitting there, and as I look back up to the man, he is gurgling and fires off a solid, I'm going to estimate three to four second, unbroken, Gen voluminous fucking vomit comet out wow. of his mouth that fucking misses the bucket by two feet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Is 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 the bucket that far away? Like as a challenge? Now 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 show it. Now 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 show the pictures. I took I I, I circled back so I could take oh a picture. Oh my god! That's literally the dude. That's Did the bucket. It? Okay. And so uh, what what all that frothing is that there's a bar dude who keeps coming out as soon as the guy pukes and just throws another bucket of water on it, then just okay. goes back to to continue to serving the rush. Sure. Oh, so was so, he from Manchester as well? <laughs> Based on his puke's accent, <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> so wait a minute. He's never aiming for the bucket. That's just there to clean him off. Yeah. No. Uh, no, it history. was set for him to puke into the bucket. He could not manage that. Right. He failed. Okay. He aimed and failed. So did you challenge him? <laughs> <laughs> I said, homie, meet me down at the dikes. <laughs> uh, I, I'd just like to add, uh, we wrote down what our guesses were. Of what, yes, what please, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one was a portal to hell, which uh, that was one. Yeah. Uh, one was shitty diapers, 
was a, a, another shitty diapers. Yeah, mm. yeah. The third, is that a thing you'd normally see on Sixth Street or yeah, on the Vegas I, Strip? You can't, you can't out, on the Vegas Strip, definitely. Uh, the third was baby shoes never worn. Wow, the saddest. Yeah, oh, the saddest story you can see. Yeah. And the thing that I actually saw in Amsterdam, which is a bishop's sex outfit that I saw in the red light district. So I was mm. hoping maybe you might have seen that as well. No, but, just you know what? He did. He did see all of those. And you'll hear about it next episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I, listeners. Tune in next week for more just, stories trying to of defend you, but, but I realize, like, I don't, I don't know. You're just promising stories that I may not have. Like, he was trying to, he was trying to one up your stories. What I, am I he was one upping you. I've got a solution, Bryce. Next topic. I'll let phone went to sleep. We're back. Great. 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 Hi. You guys are gonna love this. So this is uh, uh, again in Amsterdam. We're at this hotel bar, and uh, uh, the bartender seems very excited because I'm wearing that outfit that I wore uh, uh, out here. Oh. Ashley Belloc just walked in. Belloc just walked in, and Ashley got this other thing in Berlin that looks like Western wear, with like uh, uh, like it's a jean jacket, but the fringe is this kind of like. Eastern Your uh, European doily like oh. kind of shit, uh, and so and she has another kind of hat like a Setsuni sort of hat, and so this guy's like, oh, you're American, and we're like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, like, uh, where are you from? And we're like, oh, we live in Texas, and he's like, Texas. I'm from Crete, and I'm like, okay, in Greece, and he's like, you know, Crete. Everyone else in Greece says. We're Texas. <laughs> Wait for it. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. I, right. I'm holding. I'm holding. I'm, I'm Great. Gonna, hold oh. a Let me grab two beers. <laughs> grab two beers. <laughs> I'll enjoy my gin and tonic. He's like, they all look at us like we're backward. But we very much love our way of life. You know what we love? Guns. <laughs> okay. I'm going to set down one of the beers. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I feel like I need, I need the, exact, the exact quote. Uh, but he's like, like oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, like, I'm very jealous that you get to live in Texas because it's legal to own a gun. And I'm like, oh, in Creed, it's not legal. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. But you said you love guns and you... Have a lot of guns, and your family has a lot of guns, and they shoot guns in the air when when you're having a party and stuff like that. He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." I'm like, "How?" It's like, "Well, we live in the hills, so uh, you know." <laughs> I'm like, "Like, what do you mean?" He's like, "Like, well, uh, nobody's gonna come all the way up to the hills and get shot." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so it's a combination celebration of independence and a threat. I guess that's 4th of July. Yeah. I mean, you're already feeling a little bit of this Texas. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. All right. Here's the line. So we're trying to describe how much they love guns. And he goes, uh, and, and I'm not going to do the accent, but... I dare you to. He had, he had. Do it in a Texas accent. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Marios had a, oh. a, 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 a bit, a bit of a Texas Bal twang. Balky Bartokibus kind of oh. accent, which made this ah. even better. Oh. Uh, so I'll do it in, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a Texas draw here. Yeah. Here we go. When my sister-in-law married. <laughs> It was about 200 to 300,000 bullets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh that, 
Like BBs, <laughs> like just fought, just shot into the air. Like they were so happy that she was getting married. Two hundred to three thousand, three hundred thousand bullets. Like, like the all that's some shit that goes to Ukraine. <laughs> in the war zone. Ukraine needs those. They bullets. could have. Ukraine could have won this war with those bullets right there. And then he just is like, like to show us how much he loves guns. He literally just shows us a video. That he had on his phone of him taking a selfie of just like in the morning, like and, and just imagine like 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 it's like a peaceful thing, and he's just like like in basketball shorts, and he's like uh huh uh huh, picks up a handgun, pa, <laughs> just fires it off his balcony into the fucking wilderness, I guess. So uh, so you met uh, GMC for show. <laughs> <laughs> Blah blah blah. Uh, uh, yeah. So there we go. Crete. I, I did not know this, but Crete very much feels a bond to Texas. There, there is there is a a, a connection between that. Go- like they look from Crete and say, we 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 feel a bond. We feel a kinship. It seems like you are you are rejecting that. Oh, I'm just gonna question how good their chicken fried steak is. So immediately you look to. They're not Texas enough. Yeah, I mean, if there's such a bond here, how I mean, come? Like, like, but there's, like, I thought that was really, really rad. But the cradle of modern Western civilization, Greece, a history older than any other that that like, shares any bits of our culture. They're like, no, 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 we're like Texas. Yeah, I'm sure some of them are. <laughs> so so are we now when we're talking Texas? Yeah. I mean, are we talking Abilene? Are we talking Dallas? I should have known not to bring this are, shit up. Are we Texas. talking San El Paso. Antonio? Oh my god. Yeah. Our, Price next topic. I bet it's Dallas. Uh, yeah. Dallas. Maybe it's like a Plano. Plano. <laughs> WW2 revisited. All right, this one will be very, very quick. Uh, uh, as I brought up on this show, I endeavored to not bring up World War II to a German while I was in Germany. Went to Frankfurt, Munich, Berlin, there for two and a half weeks. I can tell you, not a single time that I bring up World War II to a German. Huzzah! Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Slow clap. In fact, I did it so well that I took down the following times that I showed restraint <laughs> not bringing up World War II to a German. Three times. I will say them in uh, uh, this order. Number one. When our train made an unexpected stop in Nuremberg. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> and you were like, I won't be getting out. In yeah. the perfect version of this, you would have had something totally innocuous to replace whatever you might have wanted to say. Did, did you have that, that, that perfect, unrelated to World War II line? Uh, uh, no, I, I just said, oh, the train's stopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Doesn't right. do that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Number two. <laughs> when Ashley explained to me, because she speaks the language, that in German, that weird letter that looks like a giant B is really just SS. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's grammatically. Mm-hmm. Yep. S. Probably could have gotten some use. Sure. Back in the day. But did not. But did not. But did not. Okay. And then finally, number three, we were with, and these were with Ashley's like good friends. She's known these people for over 10 years. And they were nice enough to make a, a, a breakfast reservation at the uh, a glass dome on top of a big German monument. Something that has been a very, very big part of Germany for a very long time. It is a, a tourist attraction. So we had our brunch. And then we were in the glass dome, which you uh, uh, walk up. But 
It gets a little, little hot. It was so hot that Ashley said, oh boy, it'd be fun if we had brought some super soakers in here. Ooh. That here, the Reichstag. <laughs> and so with the four of us, I said, not a peep. I said, wow. Except for, yeah, that'd be refreshing. <laughs> it sure <laughs> is stuffy in here. I think I need to give you back this this because <laughs> you've shown shown such restraint. No, because if if it were mine, they'd have blue balls. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. They'd be blue. That's right. Well, maybe this one's just going really fast. Actually, actually, like I was I, I was taking a picture of the 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 no smoking sign in the because I knew there was one thing I needed to take a picture of a no smoking sign in the Reichstag. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And Ashley's like, like, why are you taking a picture of that? And I'm like, no reason. Can't tell you. <laughs> Can't tell you. But you should have gotten a better public education. Yeah. <laughs> Get her ass. If you don't know why that's funny, then the state of Ohio failed you, woman. You might be from Ohio. Uh, and there we go. That's it. The three times uh, that I didn't make a joke. Hot oh, damn, Wait, man. Did you, Congratulations. Did you, ever, did you ever actually make, did you ever say anything? Or did you keep it? No, they've heard it enough. I mean, come on. Well, you've been the whole time. Whole time. Fucking to awesome. A, to a German. I mean, to Ashley, I made a bunch of no, fucking sure. World War II jokes. But like, <laughs> but yeah, for uh, uh, and to uh, his while, credit, while like, I was talking to Germans, I, I meant I, I made no joke. You didn't even racist. like 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 download a, a tweet over here or something or or send texts or. No, I didn't. All of these That's things are saying. things are things that I would have immediately texted you if I were not saving them for this moment right now. Uh, the ladies and gentlemen, Justin Robert Young. Hey! Patreon.com slash great night. That is a place you can go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want a show. Yeah. I thought we were rhyming. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Sorry. If you want a sh uh, show. Yeah. If uh, you want a show uh, that you're a bro, then you will know mm -hmm. that greatnight.com. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Uh, hooray. <laughs> you can not only support this show, you can also get the Bones episode. And boy, on Thursday, they're going to be piping hot. We got fresh bones for you. Not pre-recorded, which I'm glad everybody enjoyed the, the stuff that we did while I was out of town. But... We got we're we're back in business, baby. We're making fresh oh, hills bones yeah. on Thursday, yeah. and they are going to be unloaded for patrons only. Unloaded, mm -hmm. unloaded. Yeah, like of, of 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 the back of the content truck. Yeah, me and you were going to be in we're going to be in fucking suspenders. Yeah, and we're going to be like, gotta get this content off. Yeah, yeah, we're unloading it for you, the patron. Yeah, and then somebody in the crowd is like, that's not loaded content, is it? And we'll say, not, I don't know, man. That's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Let me speak to your boss. Okay. Hey, it's me, the boss. <laughs> oh. I'm a different guy. I just don't have range. <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> I've heard about all the benefits of Patreon.com slash Great Night. I yeah, understand you yeah, get your yeah. own RSS feed. You get the bonus episodes. Uh -huh. Hold like on. I'm chewing on a cigar to demonstrate <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> all right. That's kind of weird. Yep. Yeah, Different I, character. Uh, tell me this. You ever interview a chicken? Oh, yeah. You want, a, you want, you want the Gary episodes. Oh, huh? yeah. You ever interview my dad? Yeah, we interviewed your dad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you ever do a weird bit where everyone praises Broadway? Oh, we got at least... I think that one bled into two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like a way to keep us live and independent every single Tuesday and Thursdays if I head on over to patreon.com slash great night. So am I unloading this content or what? You know what? It's on me. And then I give you money. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. <laughs> well, thank you for this. <laughs> 
A symbolism of a recurring uh, benefit on patreon.com <laughs> slash great night. Also, great. I was God the whole time. <laughs> ah! I've become a religious man now that I've seen the face of God. He gave me three coins, and now I start the three coin ministry. <laughs> I lay these upon your shoulders because they are broad like God's is. And he also goes to patreon.com slash great night. I so smoke this cigar to prove I'm the priest. <laughs> Still same range. Patreon.com slash great night. Hey, good. <laughs> That's what we say in our church. Hey, good. Hey, good. Hey, good. Can, can we get an a like, hey, hey, good. Part of me just wants to, a full hour of scene work of you just by yourself contemplating your new God. <laughs> Gotta get this church off the ground. <laughs> Gotta get this church off the ground. How do we attract people? I don't know. Maybe we kidnap a lady who sings like in Sister Act. It's been a while since I've seen Sister Act. I don't think that's how it goes. <laughs> My one man. That's my one man <laughs> show. <laughs> coming, coming this year to the Edinburgh Fringe <laughs> Festival. Well, oh, different wait. characters. They sound all exactly, and they the all same. sound like this guy. <laughs> all right. Question: By yeah. the end of the year, can we do like a um, a pay per view event where it's two forty five minute one man shows? Yeah, and, and 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 nobody knows what they're buying or how good or bad it'll be. Are you are you just daring us to each come up with a forty five minute one man show yeah. and then we just do it? Yes. Fuck yes. Okay. Let's All fucking right. go. Well, first let's play a game, Bryce. Hey. Hi everybody. Welcome back. It is time for one of our favorite games, a classic game. You know it. You love it. Say it with me. It's apologizes for. <laughs> Oh, okay, great. It didn't play under. That's it. Great. I'm going to change some settings there. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Apologizes For. This is, uh, of course, the, uh, the the podcast game where we've gone and found news about people apologizing for some of the foibles that they've done. We've blinked out some of the words in the headline, and you're going to give me a guess what you think those blinks are. And the person who is closest, as determined by our friends at Science, will be the winner. Science. Easy. Brett, do you want to play? I would love to play. Okay. We got a few here. Uh, my name in there. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready? Uh, the first round of apologizes for, uh, let's see here, uh, Diane Warren apologizes for misunderstanding after questioning number of blank on Beyonce album. This is from our friends, mm. Hollywood Reporter. Diane Warren apologized for a misunderstanding after questioning the you, number you, of blank on a Beyonce album. Are, are, are you up on that new uh, Queen B drop? Oh, my. That new release? Yeah. Oh. Renaissance? Oh. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yeah! No. What was your favorite lyric from the new Beyonce album? D d uh, oh. <laughs> oh! 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 Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> yep! Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! Ah! Yep! <laughs> yep! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 Yep! Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. That actually kind of sounds oh, like me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Trademark. Are you still doing the lines? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Diane Warren apologizes for misunderstanding after questioning the number of blank on Beyonce album. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. What is the blank here? Number of tracks. Number of tracks. Okay, I think that's a respectable answer. That's a good answer. Good yeah. answer. Good, good answer. answer. Good yeah. answer. Justin... Diane Warren apologizes for misunderstanding after questioning number blank on Beyonce. Can album. I ask you who the fuck Diane Warren is? Uh, she's a singer-songwriter. She uh, uh, she wrote a song called "Rhythm of the Night," but it's not the Corona "Rhythm of the Night." Is it? it the Wait, no, Corona is it the? Oh. Yes. It... Wait, is that one? No, it is not that one. It's not. Oh. It's not the Corona one. Uh, Wait, what? What? Why do you keep saying Corona? That's the name of the band who does. This is the rhythm of 
world. No, <laughs> it's a disease, Bryce, and it's very fucking serious. <laughs> Have you forgotten? Don't be already? fucking gross. It's, that's what they were called. Really? Wow. Yeah, that was their name. Why didn't that song get played more during the coronavirus lockdown? It might be because this album did. art has the Twin you Towers on it. No. Uh, Maybe just, that's why everybody was playing This is the Rhythm of the Night. Yes. <laughs> uh, Diane Warren, she, she, she's, wow, she's a... Corona, really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. She's, wow. She's, a, she's a songwriter. Corona, really? Diana Warren. Diane Corona. Warren. Diane Warren. Corona. Uh, questioning the number of... Uh, Corona. Uh, 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 Corona. Collaborators. Collaborators. Yeah. Word. That's good. Word. She's questioning that? Yeah, she's like, I don't know, too many? I'm not Diane enough. Warren. Hey, Warren Hive, sound off on this one. <laughs> too many collaborators for the for, for, for Queen B. Mm, okay, there we go. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, uh Brett, what do you think? Diane Warren apologizes for misunderstanding after questioning the number of blank on Beyonce album. I would say hits. Oh, the number of hits on her album. Also, like, 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 uh, uh, you got to apologize for misunderstanding something. It ain't your goddamn fault that you misunderstood. Somebody said, my, my, my kids, like, I'm, uh, what are you doing? And they're like, I'm playing Roblox. I'm like, Roadblox? And they're like, no, Dad, Roblox. And I'm like, I'm sorry I misunderstood. Why am I apologizing to the fucking kid? <laughs> You know what? Let's fucking call her. Let, let, let's go. Let's give her a piece she's, of she's your high, mind. She's high as a kite. Look, yeah. I, think, I think you're just a child whose intentions are good. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? When the audience does that, I can't back you. Oh, yeah, so, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. No, right. no, we're not doing that. <laughs> All right. Your answers, Brett, you said hits. hits. Brian, you said tracks. Number of tracks. Justin said collaborators. We do have a winner on this one. We were looking for uh, face ID. Uh, God damn it, Bryce. <laughs> we were looking for uh, songwriters. Hey! Diane Warren apologizes after questioning number of songwriters on Beyonce album. Yep. Uh, so mm -hmm. she is sad for asking for clarification on how many songwriters. No, as you know, she probably shat on her. She's like, like, oh, you need 50 songwriters to fucking write this song? Yeah, the misunderstanding. So uh, one of the songs on the Beyonce album has a lot of listed songwriters on it, like 20 or something. It's a, big, yeah. a really high number. Uh, it turns out that's not because 20 people touched the track. It's because the sample clearing required them to make got them it, the got writers. It, got it. Oh, okay. No, there, so there, was, there, there, right. there was there was, there was a TikTok I saw of a song from the Lemonade album mm -hmm. uh, where it was like a sample, like some old ass sample that had two songwriters on it. Uh, the Vampire Weekend lead singer uh, who was hanging out with Diplo and they wrote a thing together that then Diplo went to Beyonce with. Beyonce went to like Father John Misty and oh. then three other people touched it. And like, so it had this insane, yeah, hold up. Yeah, that is, that's it. it. Is. One, yeah, two, three, but, but, but it broke down where everybody's contributions uh, were. And it was, uh, it was fascinating. But yeah, but she does that shit all the time because she gets whatever samples she wants because she's a massive artist. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's a point for Justin. Yeah. Hey. Good job, line. Belloc. All right, <laughs> congrats, Belloc. All right, let's do another round of apologizes for. Ding dong, going along, long, 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 Bing bong. Bip, 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 bip. Ooh. Bing bong, ding dong. All right, we are going to start with Justin on this one. Justin, let's fucking go. Airbnb apologizes after Ms. Uh, Mississippi blank blank listed as luxury getaway. Haunted plantation. <laughs> Justin's going to say a haunted, a haunted plantation. Did I get that right? Yeah. A Mississippi haunted plantation is listed as a luxury getaway. I see. Because uh, of all the things you want to be haunted. Oh. You don't, oh. don't oh. want to be a, uh, Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, no, thank you. All right, there no. we go. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> miss me with that one, chief. Oh, well, I, I think I will. Uh, uh, okay, Brett. Uh, the, this one's to you. Uh, Airbnb apologizes after, after Mississippi blank blank listed as luxury getaway. Slave shack. 
A what? A slave shack. A slave shack. Are you trying shack. to fucking carve into my answer? No, I'm saying I'll do you one better. So, yes, you are trying to carve into my answer. <laughs> well, then that's how you get the points, right? So you're so sure I'm right that you're going to get more specific. No, because I was more specific. I thought it would be more specific. That's exactly yeah, what that's I said. What I a plantation said. and a slave shack are two different things. Yes, all right. exactly. All right, Yours was more right. specific. I think I could settle this. Right, I'd like to please split. go more specific than him. Yeah, here we go. A haunted Bubba Gump shrimp factory. <laughs> <laughs> The haunted... Final uh, answer. <laughs> Final answer, Regis. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's Bubba me. Bubba Gump. <laughs> Bubba Grump. Bub Lieutenant Dan. Bubba Grump. A Bubba Grump is, uh, <laughs> is, is a great nickname. <laughs> the Bubba Grump settled here in 1921. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your answers are... Uh, Justin said a haunted plantation. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Brett said a slave shack. I mean, because that wasn't gross enough. <laughs> Brett had to fucking make it all the way gross. I, you know, all the way. And Brian you, said... You, th you think they have a tin roof rusted? <laughs> <laughs> slave shack. Yes. It's a slave Don't shack. stop. Stop. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> Everyone can sing it in their head. You I'm don't have to sing sure it out loud. It's Stop it. We're not doing it. We're not. Like no. 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 We no. 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 Everybody can sing the song. Here's the thing. Moving on. It's Justin. 40 acres. <laughs> Justin, here's the thing. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. <laughs> the thing about it is, Justin, is that he's exactly correct. The That's answer is slave. Oh! <laughs> you fucking asshole! You fucking asshole! <laughs> Airbnb apologized after Mississippi slave cabin was listed as a luxury getaway. Yeah. It probably yeah. would have worked as like an educational experience, but I, they were selling it as like a hotel room. <laughs> I can't believe you sniped me. Uh I'm sorry. That's I disgusting. I they didn't even mention the popcorn shrimp. <laughs> didn't come up, turns out. There's so many ways that you whoa, can whoa. Whoa, whoa. I'm doing a uh, Bubba thing. There, there is that someone. Who, oh, there is it. someone. That is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is someone uh, that just typed, it's only 40, 40 acres away from the slave. Uh, okay, yeah. all right. Can we was... get away? Let's uh, get away. Keep on moving right to the next question. The now. next question. All right, uh, and this is uh, in the game called Apologizes for. Brett, we're going to start with you. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I thought I checked. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Brett. <laughs> I'm glad to see that... that uh, the tech is still great. Yeah. <laughs> it's going great. Production it's values great. The production right values are, are... God, it makes me feel like home. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, we're going to start with you on this They're one. They're so precise in German. Uh, sorry, Bam Bam. Agassiz apologized for cheating on Got7 Bam Bam with his blank blank. This is from our friends at Meow. Sorry, Bam Bam. Agassiz apologized for cheating on Got7 Bam Bam with his blank Pause. blank. Pause. I'm having can a we, can, can we do a gambling game okay. in which we bet real money on which of the words that were just said <laughs> are real? Made the least amount of sense <laughs> to Brett Weaver. <laughs> I'm reading really it. Sorry, Bam Bam. Okay, all right. All right. Agassiz apologized for cheating on Got7 Bam Bam with his blank blank. Okay, yep. all right. All right. Well, <laughs> speaking, uh, speaking as an educated middle-aged white guy, yeah. I can say. All right, so I got seven on the floor. Okay, he's okay. got seven on the floor. Got oh, seven. Guys, Cheating on got Cheating. seven. Bam, bam. All right, so yeah, so so Brett, you have to tell us right now. Uh, my uh, yeah, so, so Agassiz. Agassiz, okay. Agassiz. Yeah. I'm going to go with got seven. Okay. And so winner, if, if, winner if, gets if, seven. If, if it's one of ours, we get to pick up all the money. Sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Come on. By the way, for audio listeners, we just threw a <laughs> bunch of money on the floor. Singles. Because uh, this is our this is our this is our bond. <laughs> our tradition. <laughs> <laughs> when 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 men make a pact, they throw money on the floor. Uh, Brett, so, Brett, to the best of your ability, explain as many of those words as you can. 
I mean, nothing that I'm going to say will keep me <laughs> from sounding like a fucking racist is what I'm saying when I'm seeing this. So, bam, bam. more than the slave shack. Yeah. yeah. Hey, especially was, his pretending uh, to not me, understand the was word. I sorry. Correct? Was I correct? <laughs> Which is always a great thing that a racist should say. <laughs> <That's> a- <laughs> I wasn't wrong. Uh huh. Well, yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Bam yeah. Bam. I got to say is apologize for cheating on Got Seven Bam Bam with his blank blank. See, I, all I can think is baby daddy. That's all I can think of, and I'm just really sorry. What's the word that you don't under that you don't understand, but would what love to love more? What makes you think about? Bam Bam Agassiz and Got Seven are? Are, 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 wait, wait, what, what race are you assuming? I am not. <laughs> yeah, as your attorney, I advise you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> All I can think is, hey, buddy, I'm just telling you how it is. Uh, so, uh, got seven, bam, bam. I'm there. Uh, Pick a word. What's the word? What's the most confusing word on the list here? They have money on the floor for it. Got seven. Oh, got seven. Oh, that's a Justin hey! win on yeah, that bet. That's, that's, that's a Justin point. There we go. I mean, it, unless they're Twitter handles or rappers, I'm just not sure. So, all right. Well, uh, uh, do you want to keep your answer of baby daddy? Yes. Okay. Brian, we'll go to you while uh, Justin is uh, hurting his those singles, hurting his money uh, yeah. into one pile. Brian, sorry, Bam Bam. Agassiz apologized for cheating on Got Seven Bam Bam with his blank blank. Uh, uh, with his uh, uh, uh. Counter Strike Go exploits. Ah, for his CS:GO exploits. Okay, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, Justin Robert Young, a new uh, multi-dollar dollar heir. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Bam Bam. I gotta say, apologize for cheating on Got Seven Bam Bam with his blank blank. Money never changed me. <laughs> <laughs> In the Matrix, cash is king. Uh, cheating with his girlfriend's sister. Okay, there we go. I guess he's apologized for cheating on Got Seven Bam Bam with his girlfriend's sister. There we go. All right, and uh, uh, Brett said baby daddy. Of course, baby. Brian said uh, Counter-Strike Go exploit. Yep. The classic wall hacks, I'm sure. Yep. All right, this is from our friends at Meow. We were looking for... <laughs> Sorry, Bam Bam. Agassiz says apologize for cheating on Got7 Bam Bam with his backup dancer. Oh! Backup dancer. Folks, I'm going to say that that's... The closest thing to a baby daddy that we're going to get. What? That's a Brett boy. Oh, How do we know that that wasn't his girlfriend sister? It very well could have been a girlfriend sister. That should have went to science. Fuck you. Well, it's a. They're both guys. It's they're. It's a. So this is a boy band. You know what I've. Uh, oh really? Yeah. This is. A, that, that does. Oh wait. Oh, oh, oh. Also. Also. What race were they? Just so we. So, so, so Brett can complete that. La, 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 la. They, they were terrorists. It's, counter terrorists. Uh, <laughs> now you're no, making it worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying uh, that maybe it was a CS:GO. What thing. race? Uh, they are a K-pop band composed. No of- shit, that's what I was <laughs> thinking. I just needed him to say it. All right. right. Composed of seven members: JB, Mark, Jackson, Jin Young, Young J, Bam Bam, and Yug Yom. Sure. Uh, but yeah, apparently fans thought Bam Bam's backup dancer was really hot. Uh, and then international fans didn't realize that he was joking that the backup dancer would be stealing all of his fans. And so some of them earnestly apologized for cheating on. Th- this. <sighs> That's some weird cheating. shit. Hey, Emotionally. Hey, Justin. I yeah. Just, thank you uh, for giving me the advice so many years ago of what? saying, Brett, do not play to win when you're playing this game. Yeah. It feels like that's been a, the thing. I'm not playing to win. Well, then what's the score, Brett? Oh, thank you, uh, Bryce, for asking. <laughs> uh, Brian has zero points. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Justin, you have one point. That seems like an okay amount of points to have. And surprisingly, huh. surprisingly, I have two points. Don't make me take your dick back. <laughs> the, di- the dick is right here on this metal piece. Don't make Just me take your dick back. The- I gave you that dick. I will take it away. <laughs> Two things that I love is that it's uh, that it's uh, that he's got uh, he's been 
circumcised, and he's veiny. That's just really cool. It's a hard dick. Yeah. It's a hard dick. Is it ceramic? Is it, it's a rigid it, dick. Is it kick, ceramic? Kick, or Toss Bryce that kick, dick real quick. Kick, let, let, him, let, him, let, him, yeah. let him get a look at kick, that dick. Kick, kick, can we talk about literally anything else? Okay, let's go to another question. <laughs> <laughs> On this game called Apologizes <laughs> For. Boom. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> All right. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brian. Yeah. There we what go. up? Uh, this is, uh, f- uh, here we go. Uh, Brian. Yep. Oshiga apologizes after rapper appears in blank t-shirt at music festivals from our friends at the Toronto Star. Oshiga apologizes after rapper appears in blank t-shirt at music festivals. The six, Brian. It's either offensive or racist. Okay. Is that a song you like to sing to like clear your mind? <laughs> it's my daughter <laughs> when she was, couldn't go to sleep. She's like, I'm uh, oh super pumped to hear the end of this sentence. <laughs> when you see a broken jack on the side of the road, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a bubble gum strip factory, <laughs> it means be- sixteen miles to <laughs> bam bam. <laughs> <laughs> Shot seven, bam, bam. I Offensive or racist? <laughs> Ashiga apologizes after rapper appears in blank T-shirt at music festival. Oh, we have uh, some uh, some information on these, by the way. Oh, thank you. Wait, the whole time. Uh, sure, uh, yeah. I would like some. Okay, Wait, no, some. no, no. What happened to your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you were telling a story. We we interrupted you. I apologize for that. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, let, let me get some more information. Okay, so you don't want to finish, so it's an embarrassing story. And no, 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 no. I'm very it. proud of it. But you I, are? Okay. Yeah. Because you can say it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can. And you won't. Uh, no, I will. We're delaying it. I will. <clears throat> At the appropriate time. Right. Gotcha. Right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Fine. This motherfucker comes back filled like Doug Flutie with Christopher <laughs> <laughs> Looking like the, the that big. <laughs> okay. College World Series rejoins here in <laughs> Littlefield, New Jersey. <laughs> I would like some information, Bryce. Sure. Oshiga added in its statement, quote, we sincerely apologize to anyone who may interpret it, who may have in- misinterpreted, excuse me, we have sincerely apologize to anyone who may have misinterpreted this message and felt hurt. Uh, uh, Oshiga apologizes after rapper appears in blank t-shirt at music festival. What are you thinking? What's on that t-shirt? What is that t-shirt? Who is the t-shirt, Brian? Ohio mm. State. Ohio State. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Lock it in. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. That would be interesting in Montreal's Oshiga Music Festival. Yep. Yeah. Justin? If you can read this, the bitch fell off. <laughs> <laughs> It's something you should apologize for. It's fucked up. Sure. It's fucked up for a lot of levels. Yeah. It's a good season. That woman might be dead. <laughs> that woman could be dead. Call the cops if you can see this shirt. Yeah. Brett. Oh, she apologizes after a rapper appears in blank t-shirt at music festival. Trump. A Trump shirt. Yeah, Trump t-shirt. Mm. Oh. Mm. I mean, I was going to go mm. one. Uh, yeah, those famous Weinstein T-shirts <laughs> that you see all around. Yeah, yes. I love to rock oh, my Weinstein get, Company can't, shirt. Can't go down. But then to, I thought, no, it can't be Weinstein. That'd be silly. Can't go down to South Padre Island without a bunch of Weinstein, Weinstein. flags. Yep. <laughs> oh, yep. <Jiminy. laughs> all right, we've got your answers here. Justin said, uh, "The bitch fell off T-shirt." Yeah. If you can read this, the bitch fell off. Yeah, I truncated it. It's okay, the way I would, sure. what, when I sing it, it's like, if you can read this, the bitch she fell, fell off. Cause it's offensive. It needs to be enjoyed. Golf war. No, who it is safe. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there is MC Hammer on the radio. Nineteen ninety-two. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got all your answers. That's right. We, we're going over there. Jurassic oh, no. Park. <laughs> They do move in herds. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she apologizes. <laughs> After rapper appears in Blake t-shirt. Brian said Ohio State t-shirt. Justin said the bitch fell off t-shirt. Brett said the Trump t-shirt we were looking for. <sighs> Oshiga apologizes after rapper appears in swastika t-shirt at oh, music festival. Oh, no. What the fuck? Thing. Where do you think you you? Where does that? Where do you? Where does that happen now? Where 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 where? Yeah, in Osh in Montreal at the Oshigan where Music Festival. Where of all the countries that I was just at would that <laughs> shit be appropriate? <laughs> well, be appropriate there. It, well, no, it would be pretty inappropriate there too. No, it's it, it's illegal Crete, there. In Crete, it's totally fine. In Not Crete, it's cool. Yeah. You better, you better stay off Marius. Yeah, he's a good lad. Okay, I'm and gonna put this aside. A lot of guns and apparently, has a lot of bullets. Hey, <laughs> what the Stop. fuck? Come on, you can do this. You can do this, Bryce. We believe in you. <laughs> apparently, that tech isn't working either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's a Brett point. <laughs> Probably should have shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should have shut up. It w Science didn't really want to deal with its deal, feelings deal on that. With one. My bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brett. What is the score after four rounds? Oh, thank you for asking, Bryce. Nah, for nobody asking. cares. You won. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I haven't won yet. It's okay, not been determined. Uh, right, go ahead. But I do have three points. Uh, Justin has one point. You have no points. You won. No, no, no. no. There's, There's one more question. There's oh. one more question. And it's going to be four points. For four thousand points. Oh, oh shit. Biggest shit. win in history. Exactly. This right. got interesting. This is anybody's game. And uh, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one because you're in the rear. My friends over at TMZ, Dua Lipa apologizes for blank inside concert. New video shows the terror. Uh, Dua Lipa, you know uh, what's your favorite Dua Lipa song? Oh my god, I, 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 she has her famous single "New uh, 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 Rules." New rules. New rules. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, um, uh, um, um, yeah. 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 rule uh, one. Um, um, um. <clears throat> uh, always get consent. Rule two. Then get her bent. <laughs> Rule three. Take that fist. <laughs> where? Take it where? Just take it? Oh, oh, take it. Take it. Rule rule four. Uh put it where it's best. Rule five. Marry her. <laughs> <laughs> Rule six. <laughs> Raise your children right. <laughs> the rule oh, no. seven is now I have no other gods before me. <laughs> <laughs> rule eight is don't eat prawns. Prawns. Yeah, prawns. Do yeah. a Lipa. She's got some fucking rules. Oh, well. Damn. She lives her life right. Yeah. Somebody, somebody put that to the actual song. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian, you're saying Dua Lipa apologizes for blank inside concert. New video shows the terror. Yeah, starting a new religion. For new religion, okay. For new religion, religion inside of a concert. How did that go? Was it like a baptism? Uh, well, uh, uh, yep. Great, yep. love it. Had Justin, to Alipa apologizes for blank inside concert. New video shows the terror. It's TMZ, so we got. I, I I would say uh, TMZ. Uh, that uh, might be a clue. Uh, Hi, live on the scene. Multiple stabbing. <laughs> TMZ. Multiple stabbing. Your source for multiple stabbings. I mean, if somebody's like, latest... do, 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 do. like, and it's like, like Harvey. Weird. Is, is there like, like I don't know. I'm looking 
for uh, blood? I want to see blood. I'm satiated by blood. Who's okay. got blood for me? And then some dude is like, uh, I, I don't know. There's this video of the multiple stabbings of the Dua Lipa show. Uh, I guess. Uh, and it's like, nah. ah, I fucking stab everybody. These rules are not for me. <laughs> They're fucking, I reject these new rules. Yep. Oh, no. Fuck you. Oh, no. Ah, I'm stabbing oh. everybody. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. And it's like, I don't know. Maybe he, maybe she should come up with new rules. Oh, you. Hey, Big Hurt. I'm just asking you. <laughs> Brett. Dua Lipa apologizes for blank inside concert new video shows the terror. For uh, for 40,000 points. Yeah, 40,000 points. That's right. I'm going to make a, just a wild guess and say apologizes for farting inside concert. Yep. So you think Dua Lipa, yep. pop star of her era, yes. cut a fucking wicked yes. gasser. Great one. That just, and everyone is just like, they're like, they're wow. like, one. Make up the moon, the moon. Oh my god! Oh my god! What did you eat? Yes. No, I. I think her farts are worse than Taylor Swift's. That's what I think. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Shots that fired. You're getting into like weird fetish territory. Shit's yeah. fired. Then there are cakes involved. And... Okay. That's all right. I was, this is, I this was, is I was more comfortable with blasphemy. And then... Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were just at blasphemy. <laughs> we don't need to get into which pop starlet's farts smell worse. Definitely. That might be good but... for SEO. I'll just say <laughs> that could be good for us. I'm trying to help. Do a leap of Do a leap of farting. Taylor Swift SEO. fart comparison. Yes. God damn it. 2022. Full HD. video. HD 4K. <laughs> it's going to be like That's going to be the name fries. of this audio podcast. God. Uh All right. So your answers. <laughs> Short Short fired. fired. There we go. <laughs> Supernova girl gets the fucking <laughs> Dua Lipa apologizes for blank inside a concert. New video shows the terror. Your answers included Brian saying new religion inside the concert. Justin said the multiple stabbings inside the concert. And Brett says uh, apologizes for farting inside the concert. Final answer, lock it in. New video I shows the terror. I to be science right now. Well, let's take a look at the clip. What? <laughs> Swear to God, she's all like, all right, commandment one. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Our friends over at TMZ, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The fireworks are shooting into the crowd. Yeah, it was Fireworks was the now, answer. Now, before you use uh, before you use science, I yeah. just what is the main component of fireworks? Hey, yeah, I. I mean, well, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, mean, uh, let's number one. The, the, the correct answer thing. is Katy Perry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what yeah. do her farts? Oh, sorry. Appar no, apparently, right. uh, clearly, <laughs> we've, we've we've tapped a rich vein for you. It's oh, it's real rich. The Dustin. Vegas mm. natural gas, <laughs> fracking. All right, okay. Joe Manchin. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So apparently, uh, quote unquote, unauthorized fireworks were set off during the Dua Lipa show, and uh, yeah, you got you you saw it right. They were aiming into the ground, uh, st the standing room uh, section. It was very dangerous. So wait, people brought their own fireworks to shoot off? It sounds like it cuz they if you look in the in the video clip uh you hear them shoot off and, and yeah, fire but turns. they are all on the ground. They're all they like proper fireworks. They know not to shoot that stuff off. Yeah. Uh and so uh I I think someone snuck it in. Seems like a situation that could use a new rule. <laughs> Well, I'm going to put all of your b wonderful, beautiful answers into the science machine, and we're going to find out which one wins the game. I love all of you, <laughs> but mostly science. I love science, too. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Uh, because the word new was in it, Brian wins the point. Yeah. 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 Those are the new rules. I did it. Good for you. Hey. Hey, good for you, Brian. Congrats, yeah. Brian. Oh, hey, need... Brett, you lost like an asshole. That's okay. You fucking are a... Wait, you're... And what comes out of assholes? I'm just wondering. Brett, you lost by 39,998 yep. points. Yeah, yep. you did. You yep. believe yeah. that? Wow, sad. Um, and you know what's funny? Even after knowing all of that, I'm second to last. Mm, <laughs> wow, is that something that makes you proud? <laughs> <laughs> you're That's just first loser. I'm not last. Really excited I'm about. just second yeah, last. You know what comes oh, out of yeah. assholes is number two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. You know what comes That's out of assholes? what you are. Yep. Number two. Sure. Oh, I'm, uh, just, I'm just happy for Brian. All right. That's right. Uh, it's uh, not about me. I, I, I am so happy I met a new artist today <laughs> and saw fireworks and yeah. got to meet Belloc. Uh, uh, you did, uh, yeah. yeah. What? What are you thankful for? I'm thankful. Yeah. As we gather I'm thankful here that, on one, this that two holiday. of my best friends are here at the show right now. That's yes. what. Yeah. Me and Brian. <laughs> yes. yes. That's <laughs> right. And We're fuck here you, every Brett. show. And fuck yep. you, Brett. But yep. yeah, Eat sure. Shit. Yeah. Wow. wow. I fuck mean, you. thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Shit. Yep. Asshole. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, We're still working things out. Patreon.com right. slash great night is where I, you can get yeah. the bones. I, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think we're ready to wrap it up here <laughs> yep. for, for, for the main show because we went way long in the A block. Uh, 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 real quick, now that we're at the end of the game here, if you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. That's where you can send ideas for games or questions, comments, if you've got uh, any sort of, maybe if you've got high thoughts or what have you. Greatnightpod at gmail.com. Check the show notes. Uh, there and uh, by the way, Marbles is happening on Fridays. Check it out Marbs. here on Twitch. Uh, just watch us on Twitch.tv slash Night Attack. Check it out on Friday nights. Thank you. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, Brett. Yes. What have we learned? Uh, we learned that uh, uh, Epstein's final boss was oh, Queen Elizabeth. Night. Yeah. Uh, we that's learned a, that's a true fact. Well, I really Manchester did. agrees. I've never learned. I didn't know this. That Crete is the Texas of Europe. Of Greece. Of Greece. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, that uh, that for some reason I can lose a game. That's what I've. I'm so used to winning all yeah. the time. Girl, yeah. Come on. Texas. Greasy Creek. Put that on our brochures. Yep. <laughs> Send them out. International Par Avion. The Crete of America. Yeah. <laughs> Texas. Texas is the Crete of America. That's right. Uh, sure. Brian? Yep. Can I say this? Yeah. It's good to be back home. Dude, yeah. it's been a great night. Mm. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Woo! Boom. We love you. Let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, great night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program.